And Luke 14 sa 10 says, But when thou art bidden, go and sit down in the lowest room, that when he that bade thee cometh, he might say unto you, Friend, go up higher. Then shalt thou have worship in the presence of them which sit, sit at meat with thee. In verses 8 of Luke 14, it says, When thou art bidden of any man to a wedding. The Lord is telling us this is the time of the rapture. And when, when that happens, look at the relation. These are the same exact scenarios in Proverbs 25 and Luke 14. Okay. Which connects us to the idea of the rapture. Ultimately through the idea of seeking the Lord for that mystery to be revealed. This is an amazing connection. How the Lord is telling us what is about to happen. But so, because we're talking about seeking, searching out, seeking, and a mystery being revealed through that seeking, which starts again from the asking portion, we are going to connect into the Hosea 5.15. Why? Because we know this time is a time for the reconciliation of the Jewish nation. And so, in Hosea 5.15, it says, I will go and return to my place. This is the Lord. Till they, they acknowledge their offense. Who is this? They. The Jewish nation and what offense? The fact that they deny and crucify the Messiah. And what? Seek my face. And in their affliction, they will seek me early. In their affliction. That means during the tribulation. They will have to go through the tribulation. And because of that, they will seek me. This is the whole idea. What does that do? It takes us to Luke 13, 35 to see this exact same calling the Lord is out to Israel. So in Luke 13, 35, it says, Behold, your house is left unto you desolate, and verily I say unto you, you shall not see me until the time come when you shall say, Blessed is he, that comes in the name of the Lord. It's saying the same exact thing, both in Hosea and in Luke 13. It's saying, you're going to have to seek me, and you'll seek me early through the tribulation, and I won't come back until you say, blessed is the name of the one that comes in the name of the Lord. Now, check this. This is amazing. Both, both chapters take us to both confirmations on the two days plus the third days. Let's look at Hosea 6.2. So immediately after Hosea 5.15, the next verse is Hosea 6.1. Come, come and let us return unto the Lord. And then Hosea 6.2 says, After two days will he revive us, and the third day he will raise us up, and we shall live in his sight. This is the two days, which is the 2,000 years, which we just got from Second Chronicles. Take us and tell us in two days, in 2,000 years, I am coming back. Not 2,500, not 2,300, in 2,000 years. This is an additional confirmation, even on top of what the Lord has already given us, which we'll see that in a minute again. And on the third day, we will live in His sight. That's the third day or the millennium. Okay? And this connects us to the very first beginning of the message in James 4, 13, 14. Where we read that today and the tomorrow. And then one year, in this case, representing the third day. That's the millennium. That is amazing. So let's look at the second passage, which confirms the same thing. They both take us to the two days. And that's Luke 13, 32. This is the confirmation the Lord himself gave me a few weeks back. And I posted in the previous video where I asked him, Can you tell me where you in your words, Lord, you say two days? And he said, Go to Luke 13, 32. And he said unto them, Go you and tell that fox, Behold, I cast out devils, and I do cures today and tomorrow. And on the third day I shall be perfected. And then verse 33, Nevertheless, I must walk today and tomorrow, and the day following. For it cannot be a prophet that a prophet perishes out of Jerusalem. The Lord is saying, I'm going to be working two days, two thousand years, with the Gentiles doing cure and casting out devils. Okay, so that's what the Lord has been doing for 2,000 years. And on the third day, it's, be, it's going to be perfected. So I'm not going to work anymore, but I'm going to be walking. 
meaning I will be here on Earth. Work for two days, the 2,000 years, about to expire as we know. And on the third day, about to start the millennium, he's going to be walking but not working. So this is really incredible and confirms all things that we've been looking at so far. I just put a quick recap here at the bottom that you can see yourself. And the idea of this window, 2022 really looks like it is the start of the 10 years of sorrow for the Jewish nation. It's a separate timeline that goes from 22 to 32. Within that time, there's going to be the seven years of the wedding, which could start anywhere between 23 and 24, as we spoke about the window, most likely. Remember, as I said, nobody knows the day and the hour, and that is going to be always the case. But the Lord is leading us to see this overall timing. And so we're really in this stretch of time where it does appear that the 10 years of labor and sorrow have started, and we are about to see the rapture and the tribulation starting sometimes in this window as we spoke about it. As always, the purpose of this channel is to speak the truth and do tremendous amount of research and confirmations on everything that I receive from the Lord to make sure that number one, I understood it correctly, and number two, the Lord knows that I will be doing the research before I deliver it to you unless it's an urgent message the Lord needs me to deliver on the spot. So I'm going to continue to stay in prayer and to pray for everyone. The attacks are out of control and we see what's happening in the world already. And as you've seen uh, some of the messages on this channel and other channels, you really know what's coming. This is not time for panicking. This is time for prayer, for love, support and for sharing the gospel with everyone. We are commanded to follow the Lord. Watch again the Peter series. We're saved by his blood, not works. But this does not mean that we're sitting home doing nothing. We're commanded in Romans 1, we received a spirit of grace and apostleship. That means you are commanded to be an apostle and to share the gospel out of love because that's the highest form of love to another who does not know. I thank you all. May this video bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Amen.